tutorial today I'm going to show you how to make a nested for loop with Java. So let's begin with typing public class nested loop, because that's the name of my class there. And we are going to declare a public static void main that t lowercase string args. So that's going to be our main method there. And then we're going to be making a nested for loop. So a nested for loop allows us to let me get out a text pad here. Um, a, a, a regular for loop, a linear for loop, could just go like this. It could just loop over something. So it could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, a nested for loop will allow us to loop over something, but loop over something in addition to that loop. So you'll see right here. So I could have a loop go, um, we'll say 1, and then go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And then actually we'll make it nine just for the hack of it. And then so we want to have for each one of these print out an amount of stars. So in addition to this for loop here that prints out this one, we would deploy another for loop and just print out a star there. Another one, two stars there. Copy and paste. Uh, so you get the idea. So we can just make it all the way up to nine here. And you can make uh, pretty little patterns. So let's begin. So for int i equals zero. Um, i equals less than, um, actually you know what, I'm going to make it rows and columns because that will make it a lot easier to see the patterns here. So rows and columns, so C++, plus <laughs> plus. Um, we're going to have 10 row, or put columns there, so uh, 10 rows and rows are going this way horizontally, columns are going up and down. Um, so for every single row we're going to want to uh, put um, 10 columns in. So for int c equals 0, and then c is less than 10. So we're going to want 10 columns in addition to the 10 rows for each row. Uh, it gets kind of confusing thinking about it, but you will see very soon. So we want to print out a star, line. And let's print out a star there. So save that. Build file. You don't really need to build it. You can just run it. But I am in the habit of uh, building the file. And I think, no, we are in the, um, okay. So sometimes if you have issues with it, you want to right click, set as active project. It's happened to me numerous times before. Oh, you know what? We need to make this a print. Let me just uh, come in here and so let me just show you the error before I fixed it. So what's happening is it's printing out on a new line every time. We don't want it to print out on a new line. We want for every, we want um, a continuous, so we want a continuous line printed out of 10 uh, for each row and then 10 columns. So down here we're going to have to do system.out.print ln. Uh, so ln means that it's going to do a new line character, which is that uh, slash n, and just uh, dot print will just make it, it, it will just print a character out, and it will print it out sequentially one after the other. So uh, run that file now. And then we see now we have a nice little block here. So that's done through this uh, 10 and 10. Now if I wanted to make a slope kind of pattern, I can just replace this 10 with the R, or uh, not run project, run file. So as we can see there, we have a nice little uh, slope. Uh, we can get even more elaborate, so if, let's see here, I'm doing some PHP, so I'm getting that confused. So let's see if it is uh, positive. I mean, uh, if it's uh, this test and see this sees if it's even. So if it's even, print out a character. Else, if it's odd, we're gonna print out a space, and it'll be kind of cool. And then you can get into tables and stuff. So save that, and you can go run file. And let let me just drop this down so we can see the code. Oh, uh, let me put a 10 here. 
Okay, so wait for that to load up. And there we go. So the other one it was more condensed, but now it's spaced out, so this would be an even even number and then odd and then even odd, even odd. Um, so that's that pattern. Now if we wanted to make kind of like a table pattern, uh, if we wanted to put like a name in here, uh, names aren't just single characters. So instead we could separate it by a tab. Save that. Run the file. And now for every uh, asterisk we have a, a tab in between. And we could even create an array up here and then replace the array for every tab character and create a cool little table. So there's a lot of uses, uses for um, a nested loop. Um, sometimes nested loops can be used for traversing arrays that are uh, multi-dimensional arrays. So we could have um, an array that contains an array element that contains another array. We need to tra traverse through the original array and then look in the other arrays that are within the array elements. So nested for loops really come into um, hand for that. But of course if you're going to be running into jagged arrays, uh, which are uneven arrays inside of another array, uh, recursion works best for that. So this is the uh, pleasure of using a nested loop. Anyways, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe. Uh, please go to techtutorials.com. Thank you. Bye.